Alright, what's going on guys? It's Greno and welcome to another video. Today I'm covering Battlefield Hardline's latest Betrayal DLC and in particular covering the map Alcatraz and giving my best class setup for the Orgay 3. So as you watch gameplay on the new map Alcatraz, I'm going to run you through my thoughts on it and then I'll get to the best class setup with your Gay 3. So the first thing you will notice when you play Conquest on Alcatraz is it's a very linear map. There's only three objectives in a 64 man server so it's very hectic but the map does provide quite a lot of areas for lots of players to hide. It is multi-leveled being a prison and all and the jail cells in the middle particularly on B provide very good camping spots and or tactical positioning spots if you'd like. Um, like I said, it's very close quarters action, and you're likely to run into someone within, you know, SMG, shotgun sort of range fairly consistently. That being said, ARs, of course, in hardline with a uh, lower TTK do work, so there's no real drama there using any real weapon. In summary of the map, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. As far as visuals, though, it looks stunning, and they've done a great replica of the actual jail or what they perceive to be Alcatraz. However, it just doesn't play that well in my opinion. As I said, it's very linear, so you are drawn to the enemy, which is good. So you're bound to run into an enemy fairly consistently. But there's just too many sort of walkways, areas, little concealments and stuff like that that I'm not that big of a fan of. But at the same time, the map is by no means bad. So, yeah. Okay, so moving on to the Orgay 3, what we have is a fairly decent gun. As far as damage, accuracy, range and control, they are all completely identical to the M416. However, there is a drawback in terms of fire rate RPM, with the M416 having an 850 RPM and the Orge 3 having a 700 RPM, your time to kill will be significantly slower with the Orge 3 in a firefight. So, as far as handling and all those characteristics go, you essentially are using the M416, but the fire rate is different and that is what separates the two. So how can you equip this gun to make it feel the best it possibly can? Well in my opinion I would certainly run a Cobra Red Dot sight, I would run extended mags along with the heavy barrel and the stubby grip as my best class setup. So that's it for this video guys, hopefully you did enjoy, if you did hit that thumbs up button and if you've got any feedback and or comments on the Betrayal DLC or anything you'd like to see covered feel free to leave me a comment and I'll respond to you as to whether I can do that or not. And yeah, so that's been it for me today, guys. It's been Greno, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.